about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's really windy so I'm not sure how much you can hear. I was gonna sit out here and film like an intro but I'm assuming because of the wind the audio is gonna suck so I'm sorry about that but I'm sitting here with Eloise. I have Eloise here with me and my coffee and enjoying I thought I would enjoy this deck area here at the RV park that we're staying at a lot more but I don't really sit out here too often I do use the gym behind me a lot though I try to use like every day and then there's like the laundry room the bathrooms yeah I just posted a vlog I actually have a few vlogs I've been posting back to back trying to do a little bit more vlogging and sharing and things like that and today we're gonna run some errands grab some groceries and I want to make a have like a pizza night my husband Again, I'm sorry if the audio sucks because of the wind, but my husband's been making Turkish flatbread, the one that you fry in a pan, and it's so good. And we thought, let's try to make use it as like a pizza crust. So I think we're going to try that today. And if we do, I'll try to film that and let you guys know how that goes because it seems like it'd be like a really great recipe for pizza crust. It's a little bit of a colder day as well. So we got like our sweaters on and our pants. I went outside in shorts, so I'm not. It's a little and bit chilly, which actually... Chair. Broken chair. Oh, it is broken. <laughs> But it feels refreshing, like it's nice and like a little bit of a chillier day. So it kind of breaks up the hot days. To a place where we don't know. Oh, about to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited. Set my husband to the grocery store with Eloise just to get a few groceries. So while he does that, I figured I would do kind of like a little mini clean with me. I thought I would do that in today's vlog. And then before I did that, I wanted to do my hair. On day three here, my hair, it's like, it's not exactly oily or greasy, but it doesn't really, like it's very limp and flat. So one of my go-to hairstyles when my hair is at this stage has been waving it. I've had this waiver for quite a while. It's from Bedhead. It's called A Wave We Go. And I like this one because it has three different settings. You can have it on this setting here or make the waves a little bit deeper or even deeper. So it kind of has three different modes, if you will. So one, two, three. I usually use it on this one right here. And then I'll just like put it in a claw clip and this way my hair gets a lot of texture and it's not as limp and flat. So I'm going to spritz a little bit of Heat Hero from Joico. It's like a thermal heat spray protector. So on the top layers here, what I'll do is actually use the waver upside down if you will. So instead of going in this way, I'll do it this way because that way it adds lift at the roots. If I were to go in this way, it would kind of lay this part flat. But when I do it upside down, it gives it lift at the roots. I don't know if you guys are, I didn't even turn it on, way to go. <laughs> okay, it's ready to go. So starting at the roots, give it a crimp, release. Ooh, it's smoking. I'm assuming it's from the, it started raining. It wasn't supposed to rain today. It was gloomy, but it didn't say it was gonna rain. It said it was gonna rain tomorrow. So this is what the waves look like on the lowest setting. So I'm just gonna go through and do the entire head. This is what the hair looks like after. It looks crazy, but I don't leave it down just because my hair is short right now. So I feel like it looks a little bit funky, but I'll run my fingers through it and then put it in a claw clip. This way it's not like flat against my head. My hair has a little bit of texture going on. It looks, this method looks really pretty if you were to have, if you have like shoulder length hair and you left it down or longer. For those of you that don't know, we live in the RV full time for now until we settle down doing a little bit of traveling. And when we move from place to place, that's usually when I'll get like the best clean in because I have to roll up the rugs, put everything away. And that way I get to like vacuum everything, really get a good clean in. But since we've been here for a little bit for a few weeks now, we haven't been moving from place to place. We're kind of like settled here for, for a bit. Um, I feel like it could use like a pretty good thorough clean so I'm gonna go in and kind of like vacuum the crevices I want to wash some windows wash some mirrors and do like a little mini clean today since it's like the perfect weather it's cold outside like a gloomy rainy day it's like the perfect weather to do that and then later maybe we'll have like a pizza night or something I have this cleaner here that I have repurchased time and time again from Amazon it's supposed to be similar to the thieves 
I think it's called The Thieves from Young Living, but this one is called Five Guards. It's an essential oil blend and I use this for everything, for like every surface, including the TV, the mirrors, and it doesn't leave any streaks or anything. And I use it with these cloths, they're like microfiber cloths. I left it in the bedroom, so let me go get it. I get those on Amazon as well. I feel like Amazon has everything you could ever need, but they're like these right here. And they help not to leave any streaks. So they're perfect for like cleaning mirrors, TVs, all that. So that's what I'm going to be using. Those are like my two essentials. And because here in the RV, I can't be having like a whole stash of cleaners and stuff. So it's like perfect because it works well on like so many surfaces. And then I have these bottles from Grove uh, that I got a while back. Because this one is a concentrated cleaner. So you just pour in a little bit and dilute it in some water. So... Let's get to cleaning. Oh, look, it's the Pepper Cat. We call him Pepper because he reminds us of Pepper back home. Hi, Pepper. I'm about to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out groceries and my husband bought some vodka sauce which we actually love adding to pizza but I found a recipe online that I want to try from natashaskitchen.com for like a super easy pizza sauce she basically takes 28 ounces crushed tomatoes I have these diced ones here um, garlic cloves extra virgin olive oil sea salt and dried oregano which he actually bought as well put them all in a blender and then let it leave it in the fridge for like three hours or for one to two weeks and let it marinate but I'm gonna try it fresh and see. If not, maybe we can mix in like a little bit of vodka sauce. But I wanna try this recipe because if it turns out, I mean, there are some really great pizza sauce recipes online, but they take like a whole thing of like boiling and you know, all that, which I'm sure they're amazing. But I just wanna give this one a try and see. So let me get my blender out and everything that I'm gonna need. I have this 
Bellamy blender that fit in here, like that I could store away, so it's the only one that I took, the magic bullet. Which we actually, we didn't even have any other blender to begin with. I might have to do it in a few batches, because I don't know if it's going to fit all in here. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. I'm gonna go and pick up an Amazon Amazon order real quick. I got some parchment paper that I ordered yes, yes. that came in, which was perfect because we're gonna be making pizza, so um, it's gonna come in very handy right now. Oh, my battery's dying. I totally forgot to change it. My battery's probably going to die before I finish, but yeah, it's like already blinking. Actually, I'll show you guys at home what I got. I picked up a new bag. Both of these are from Amazon, but this one's too small. If I want to, like if we're going to Houston, we're going somewhere and I want to put more stuff in there. Alrighty. I am home now. I want to show you guys what I picked up. I feel like I go to Ross every day to get some packages, but the thing with pickup locations is that like Amazon lockers, you can't choose one day to pick up. If I'm ordering five items, then they might come on five different dates and I can't make them come on one day. So that's like the annoying part. So I feel like I'm going there and you only have three days to pick it up. Otherwise it gets returned back to Amazon if you don't pick it up in time. So that's like the only annoying thing, but at least I can get Amazon packages somehow. So anyway, here's the backpack. Let me unpack it. I love this one here. This one's like a Lululemon, similar to the Lululemon one. Both my camera and my phone won't fit in here at the same time. So I wanted something like this that can store my camera, my phone, keys. You can wear it like a mini backpack or you can wear it um, like a crossbody, which is what I plan to do. Kind of similar like this. Or you can wear it, it has these guys right here, hook it on and wear it like all around like a strap like that it was on sale i think it was like under 30 dollars and i saw it this is how they get me so when i'm scrolling um instagram you know how they have the ads every single time and like amazon fashion or amazon something will come up and i'll scroll through scroll through scroll through and i'm like oh that's so cute and that's how this popped up i saw this and i was like oh that's so cute i could totally get used out of that and that's how they get me it's those instagram ads they work at least on me i think this also comes in black as well but it has like that signature adidas mesh that usually comes on their sneakers and their shoes so i don't know i just thought it was like a really nice amazon find under 30 dollars and i recently got the water bottle as well from adidas that i've been loving the glass one and then i also picked up some beauty items these two here so charlotte tilbury i feel like is having a moment with its um a little cream wand blush and bronzer and now amazon is selling a ton of similar options if you will so i picked up a blush and a bronzer some of them have really bad reviews these i think these had pretty decent reviews so i decided to try these but i think they're all kind of the same they're probably all coming from the same manufacturer but i got a blush and a cream bronzer here and i don't know i was just i'm like oh that's one thing do not it's not like a screw cap you have to pull it up i think that's what a lot of people were complaining about how do i know what's the on position oh okay yeah, so this little cap right here, you twist it to the on position and it will align, like that little arrow will align with the words on. And then gently squeeze to release appropriate amount of product. It seems like there's a lot of air in here. Sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, look at that, it's so satisfying. I think this is the blush. Ooh, that's a pretty color. These tips, applicator tips, are definitely having a moment. Especially with TikTok. I feel like with TikTok, stuff goes crazy viral. Ooh, that is pigmented. I probably did a little bit too much. It has like a nice powdery finish. I like the finish of this. I like it so far. And then let me try the bronzer. I think the only disappointing thing is that I feel like there's like a lot of air in here. So I don't really get a lot of product. Not too bad. I'll keep the plane out, playing around with it. I'm done living life with the lights out, die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Be free. Be free with me. Be free. Not looking back, 
Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. A classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we waited for. Oh, yeah. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Right, you guys it is later in the day that I'm letting the kids play for a little bit and then I'm gonna start reeling them in and getting them ready for bed it's seven o'clock by the way the pizza was good I'm holding the camera like this because when I hold it like this it looks so pink I look like even my nail polish looks like it's fuchsia colored but it's like it's red it's just the weirdest color tones I don't like it and you could probably hear the kids yelling outside but the pizza was really good loved the pizza sauce I would totally recommend it. I added like a little bit extra garlic and I also added tomato paste to make it thicker, like a little jar of tomato paste. And I feel like that was nice because it made it a little bit thicker and gave a little bit more of a bright red color. But I would totally, I really love the pizza, pizza sauce. And then the dough, I love the dough as like a bread, flatbread with butter and garlic. As a pizza crust, it was pretty good. I would do it again. So overall, Really, really like that. I made myself a matcha latte for the night. By the way, this, I don't think I've ever mentioned, but I got this set, I think last year, maybe the year before, and it is this really nice knit material. It's actually from Amazon. I, I get a lot of things from Amazon, if you guys haven't noticed. And I got it, I, yeah, I think it was last year. We went to the beach in Florida, and I got it right before we went to Florida, and it's like, the shorts are like a nice, loose material, very flowy, super comfortable. I got it mainly as like a pajama. Um, which I think that's what it is, but it's just so comfortable. And for Amazon, I would say it's actually a really nice set. I'm going to haul the kids in now and get them ready for bed. I'm definitely, I'm not tired. I'm just like my body's just ready to kind of like relax. That's all. So I'm going to call them in, get them ready, get them to bed, and then relax. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys very soon. Mm -hmm.